Nice. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna start from here, man. I don't really care. I usually have a like right. a proper like like welcome, but I don't even give a shit. Like it's been so long. I'm just welcome, so welcome. happy to be back. Like, oh, I can't wait to say this next sentence because it feels like it's been forever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Naked Eye. I know, I know, it's been forever, but life has just been so crazy with school, with my internship with just my social life with everything really but i'm so happy to be back oh i just oh i'm just i'm in such a good mood like literally this whole day i've been like looking forward to this it's like christmas morning like i love oh, doing this yeah man like i'm so happy to be back and like who else would be better for my redemption episode than probably one of the most fascinating people i have ever met in my life josh flavel buddy Ooh, thank so you so highly. much thank you so much for coming on the podcast like no problem. honestly like meeting you first year just like sometimes when i'd hear the story she told me i was like in awe of you i'm like wow oh this God. man this man really lived through this shit um yeah and then i as soon as i started up this podcast i was like you know what i need to have this man on like it was decided the second i started it, i'm like at some point i need to have you on and here you are i'm so happy yeah. so uh josh buddy how are you doing i'm alive and well i guess yeah <laughs> oh yeah fair yeah. enough short and sweet <laughs> um so yeah i have a couple questions to ask you we have quite a bit to All go right. through but hey we'll get through it together how's that sound Oh, yeah. Sounds great. <laughs> sounds great. All right, man. Um, so just starting off early here. So we're going to go into the early life, your childhood. Now, oh. I know um, you're from like great. Like, I know that you're from Great Bruce. But like, is yeah. that where you're like, were you born there? Was that where is that you spent your childhood? Like, oh, born. Oh, God. Was it's in Orangeville, actually? Because it's a hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah. OK. Did you grow up in Great Bruce? Oh, yeah. OK. I grew up in what? Dundalk. You grew up in Dundalk? Yeah. I was there oh, for. Shoot. Like four or five years, I think. Oh, nice. My yeah. dad has friends in Dundalk. Ooh, nice. That's pretty cool. Huh? What school oh, yeah. did you go to? Like elementary school? Uh, oh, what's the name of it? McPhail, which is Mc... the one that's in uh, Flesherton. Flesherton. Oh, other other small town. Oh, I didn't even know there was a school there. <laughs> is that bad? Oh, yeah. It's an elementary <laughs> oh, school okay. and a high school. And then you went to, um, you went to Great Highlands for high school, yeah. right? How is that? I heard that place is uh, interesting. <laughs> well, that high school is known a lot for uh, its drugs. <laughs> Which I stay clear with. <laughs> oh, it's called GHSS. People are like, this is get high, stay stone is really what people were saying it meant. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it means it drugs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember when I first moved up there to Great Bruce. Uh, that's actually one of the first schools we looked at and like legit the fact that like there's a school next to a graveyard like for those of you who are not living in gray bruce listening to this there's a high school and right next to it there's a graveyard so it's not like probably that, the it's most crematorium so you could smell burning bodies every time you go out for lunch no like you could see the smoke of way. grandpa going over yeah really people were yeah. fucking cremated there oh yeah yeah they had a smoke sack and everything Every once in a while, it smells like a barbecue, but a bad barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that, barbecue is so, that is so grim. Oh, my God. Awful. I didn't know there's a crematorium there. Yeah, guys, yeah. if you're listening and not from Gray Bruce, fucking Gray Highlands Secondary School. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So, oh, you went to that high school. Did you go there the entire four years, or did you? We one of those people. So you went there for around. another year afterwards. Went for a victory lap, so five years. Oh, you did, the, you did the victory lap? Yeah. Oh, shit. What? Okay, wait. I need to know this now. I mean, unless you're like a Ron Swanson and want to keep your personal information off the grid. How old are you? Uh, like what year What year are you born? Uh, 2000. 2000. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 98. I'm a 98 kid myself. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So you went there for five years. How was your yeah. experience there? It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah? Like, you can say that you had a decent <laughs> experience there, even though all that Oh, shit. Definitely. See, I stayed away from all stuff. I was the one getting all the nerdy people out to the woods and on adventures. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Get the kids away from drugs and into touching toads and being attacked by rattlesnakes. Oh my god, <laughs> rattlesnakes? What? 
Yeah, we had a lot of rattlesnakes. Like the back area of the high school connected to a place called Flushman Hills, which was filled with snakes, bears, raccoons. Bears? And... Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had a bear sighting here before. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like the whole ground was hollow in one area. Underneath there was, I don't know where the entrance is, but like a bear cave. Interesting. I had this question actually meant for later on, but I think I might just ask this now. Like, <laughs> do you think um, that, that kind of adventurous side of you, did that really did that give birth in high school? Or were you kind of always like that? Definitely in high school. Like the yeah? first year or first two years of high school, I barely left like the library. I was known mm. as the library hermit because I never <laughs> left. But afterwards, I said, ah, hell of it. So I took friends out in the woods, went even further, even further, got stuck in like a gully, explore abandoned houses. And now I'm doing what I do today. <laughs> did you did you ever not have like a bad experience? You're like, dude, fuck that. Because I feel like if it, that was me, all I need is like one bad experience. I'm like, I'm never doing that again. Oh, I've had so many. <laughs> like oh I got God. trapped in a house like, uh, was it two winters ago? I tried calling into like an attic space, fell through the attic and then the first floor. And then the like basement into a crawl space and got stuck there for three solid days. Right to survive. That was a bad experience. Oh my god, three days. I ended up eating like some moss stuff that. Uh... I'm pretty sure I got high off moss. <laughs> oh my god! I thought it was moss at least. Yeah. I actually oh made a documentary god. about that. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, yeah. Is it somewhere up on YouTube? I think so. Yeah. All right, shout out Get a Life Studios. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow three days jesus were, were you like winter too <laughs> oh man did no one like express any concern for you like i guess not i just said i was going for a walk <laughs> i didn't have a fun for three time days. Call anybody. <laughs> oh man jesus so like, wait so uh, okay take me through this i want to envision this for myself so like how did All you right. get how are you stuck like was it's like things over you or you like what like well it was like this Ah, what's the best way I can kind of draw out a picture? Like if someone got stuck on a chimney, that kind of thin oh. little crevice, and I just slid down into it. Mm. I didn't have, like, I think the only thing I had for food was like crackers, mm. salted crackers, which is not nice. good in a survival situation because you need water. <laughs> yeah. So how did yeah. you, how did you end up getting out of that? I ended up finding like this metal thing up top and using it to like dig a hole through like the molding walls. <laughs> Oh and my goodness. Jesus. It Would you awful. say that was like the most wild experience you ever had on your adventures? Oh God, not even close. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm going to ask you flat out then. What, what <laughs> What's the wildest experience you've ever had? Oh God, wildest experience. I've had too many wild ones. I don't know what's the most wildest. Okay. Give me one then. One that sticks out. Uh, in your head. Hmm. What would be the most wildest one I've done? I mean, I went impromptu rock climbing, which is kind of wild, I guess. Mm. I meant to go just walking by Eugenia Falls. It's like the falls that's near my parents' place. And oh, like, like the whole side just kind of let go. Turns out you're not supposed to walk there anymore. But yeah, like the entire like giant chunk of rock I was standing on let go. And I slid down a good 40 feet or so. And then had to finish oh crawling God. down it. And up meeting this happy Portuguese family. We had uh, hot dogs and stuff at a fire by a waterfall, went swimming, and then went rock climbing up the side. Oh, wow. So you, you went rock climbing, like, without any equipment. You just, you yeah, send, yeah. Just, you just sent it. Wow. <laughs> oh, just, my God. I sent it to my grave nearly. I Big mean, time. damn, I, don't, I wouldn't have the balls to do that. I mean, <laughs> I, I think I think the trap in the house one's a bit more wild. That That is really, really right. scary. Like, oh, that was Jesus Christ. Terrifying. Have you ever been stuck like that before, like in another situation? Ah, uh, I mean, I got stuck in my high school before for a weekend because they have alarms and stuff outside when like everything shuts down. <laughs> and if you walk out, like the alarm will sound and the police will come and the fire department will come. And I got trapped in the Wall Street for the weekend. Oh, wow. God damn. <laughs> yeah, they had a whole like janitor strike. So no janitors checked on me when I fell asleep in the stall. Just the principal came by and locked the door for me still stuck in there. <laughs> so I had to live in the vent for the weekend. Yeah, the what? I had to live in like the ventilation shaft. That's the only way I could get around the school without triggering the alarms outside. Oh my God. This has been like, it's been like 10 <laughs> minutes. I've already been blown away. This is what I'm saying, people. <laughs> to you listening, this is what I'm saying. This guy, this guy just spewing out stories. Like it's, it's just like 
a, a sick real life survivor. Like, what the fuck? Pretty much. I really shouldn't be alive. <laughs> yeah. The amount of times I've rolled the dice got a 20. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ, man. So, um, switching up the conversation a little bit. Um, All right. So, like, obviously, I know that you're like very, very much into filmmaking. So, yeah, uh, definitely. So, like, what got you into that and when did you get into that? Oh, uh, let's see. I got really into it in high school. <laughs> in high school, there was a uh, film studies class. So I'd, <laughs> geez. Anyways, that... take it time. Take it time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, for context, I had strep earlier this week. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much the beginning of high school, there was a film studies class. So I just had to hop in on that. We made some like 80s music videos, a couple short films. Did some awesome flight sequences. That's, nice. I guess, pretty much what got me into it. Nice. Because then I did that film studies class, I think, four times afterwards. Oh, really? What, what, what like grade the leap year, I came back just for that mostly. Really interesting. Yeah. That must have been a fun year because if that's something oh, you're really awesome. if it's something you're really into, like you just do that the whole year. I remember my uh my victory lap was actually amazing. Like my second term, amazing because I had a radio call <laughs> up in the morning, and then I uh, had two spares, so it was be radio in the morning, gym in the afternoon. <laughs> that was it, whole day. Never had homework, never did anything. Gym, fucking radio, gym, radio, gym. Sometimes I even come in early too, do a gym session, then stay at radio all day. It's like, oh, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh man, it was the best. Like, uh, I think that semester, that span of four months is probably the fastest four months I ever lived through in my life because, like, oh, I God. genuinely, I genuinely enjoyed every single day of it. So it went by like that. That's Just pretty like much that. me with my victory lap because I yeah. had, I think, three spares, an art class, and then I had uh, film studies. So oh, during awesome. all the spares, I sat in on all the art class, like grade nine art class, grade 10 art class, grade 11 art class. Oh, man. That's... So is that what kind of got you into like uh, your art? So I can obviously see, see your uh, job oh, yeah, in the definitely. back there. Actually, half of that's from like the leap. Actually, like, all of it's from the leap year. Or really? The, oh, cool. Okay. Victory lap year. Yeah. And so is, is arts you got into first before filmmaking or? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I've been How drawing like... since elementary school. Oh, really? Interesting. Do you remember like your first drawing where you're like, oh damn, this looks pretty good? I'm not, I'm not sure. Probably one of the ones that's probably sitting in my <coughs> wall somewhere. Mm. I mean, looking at it, like, damn. I, I like I've been to your room, obviously. So it's like <laughs> seeing seeing all your drawings, like holy smokes. Like, it's, oh, it's, it's super weird. nice and colorful. <laughs> so um I noticed like on your YouTube page, like your actual like like your profile picture is uh is a drawing of some sort or you also have some like skill in graphic design oh yeah definitely yeah okay, like my cool. logo that i made i think one of the ones is sitting back there in the corner <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah, yeah i did that in graphic design oh, a whole bunch of other ones on my instagram too <laughs> did, did you ever possibly consider doing graphic design as like a course i thought about it but i mean it's not fun when you're forced to do it oh Although okay I still do it every right. once in a while <laughs> I, see, I see what you're saying. So it's kind of like cleaning. If someone tells you to clean, it's like not fun anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But if you music <laughs> and you just clean your own beat, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, so you really, really into it during high school. And obviously you took the program and that's how I met you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I kind of, that takes us into first year. And obviously the big thing that happened first year was COVID. So yeah. I, I always ask this question because I like hearing people's answers because everyone has a different story, really. Ooh. So uh, my question is, how did the pandemic affect you, like personally and professionally? Oh, let's see. Personally, I guess I wasn't able to hang out with as many people. So I spent 90% of the time just playing Minecraft. And like I got a VR headset and was playing that for the longest time. Mm. How, how was that? Uh... Guess... <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. And I guess like professionally, uh, I guess I just got more work out of it because I do like freelance editing, like cinematography and stuff. Oh, really? That's how I got my new business. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. I, I, I'll get back to the business thing in a bit, but yeah. that's cool. I'm, I'm glad that you actually took some benefit out of the pandemic. I oh, man, like not gonna lie, especially like the first couple months, 
I did jack shit. Like, I didn't do oh, anything. I feel that. Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I worked. I, I mean, especially, like, the month of, like, April. Like, I did nothing. I just gamed. <laughs> maybe went outside for some sunlight five minutes a day. Ooh, that's, five that's minutes. A, nice. That's about it, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I got into working and then obviously, like, came back to school. And then, I mean, thankfully, during the second shutdown, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start a podcast. And here we are. But yeah, <laughs> yeah especially, especially during the first, like the first part of the, the OG pandemic, as I like to call it, the Tiger King the original days. lockdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The time like, everyone was freaking out and like raiding stores with toilet paper and alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that, that phase, I was doing nothing. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that you were doing stuff. Do you think like uh, you're almost, no, I wouldn't say glad, but do you think that like, oh, definitely not glad. Happened, do you think it happened for a reason? Do you believe that? Or are you still kind of bummed out about everything that? Still, still pretty bummed out. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It's been three I, months playing Minecraft. I mean, <laughs> yeah, fair fun, enough. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like looking back now, especially because of how like fast my life is going right now, it was almost kind of nice to cherish that time when like you yeah. just do nothing all day. It, it was like a kid uh, again. Yeah, it was nice. A very long recess. (laughs) A brief phase of it was nice. Like, I've been living here now for two months. Like, I haven't recorded a podcast in, like, two and a half months. Like, that the the thought of that, like, blows my mind. Like, I can't believe it's already been two and a half months. Like, I mean, we tried to set this up a while ago. Yeah. 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 But, hey, here like I said, here we are. Yeah. So, okay. So, how did, uh, how was second year from a film student's perspective? Oh, God, it was brutal. (laughs) Because yeah. everything went online. <laughs> oh, really? Everything? Pretty much. I, I think the only actually no, even film classes online. We had six hours of Zoom classes. Damn. I paid to join that. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. That was, it was did, brutal. Did, I'm hoping like you did you ever go on like sets or anything? I don't even know what like film kids do for projects <sighs> and shit. Like do you just like we filmed like a single short film. <laughs> wow that's it and then yeah yeah wow because it's, it's weird like, <laughs> it's kind of weird because um like second year uh presentation students i.e myself would work with like tv production students so like we kept in contact with them quite frequently but the film kids just kind of they kind of just disappeared just on us. so I, I had <laughs> yeah like i didn't even know what you guys ended up doing so wow you guys really just, <laughs> wow that kind of sucks but I mean, hey, my least... audio class was brutal because when it went online, like the moment it went online, we never heard from our teachers at the end of the year. Oh my god, <laughs> what? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. I can't. I'm speechless. Your teacher just you had multiple tests you. and everything, and just he never gave us anything for it. Oh my, that's yeah. What'd you end up getting in that class? I think like a 70 or 80 something. Okay, so I mean, hey, at least you passed. Never have to do it again. <laughs> there it is. Um, yeah. So now, I mean, here we are in third year. I mean, yeah. it's going by pretty quickly, and uh, it's almost over already. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. It feels like it's starting. It's beginning to end, which is kind of, which is trippy for me. It's so, daunting. yeah, it really is. Um, <laughs> so my question now at this point is: We're here now. You know, we're in third year. We're almost done. I think it's safe to say our careers are in its infant stages uh i know you like you for example i know you've worked on like a million projects from seeing like your instagram and your snapchat yeah Yeah. (laughs) and like i saw an instagram and i'm glad you brought this up because i wasn't sure if this was like a serious thing a legitimate thing or it's kind of like half a joke but your film business oh yeah like that's the legitimate thing oh yeah can you tell me about it my good old get a life studio productions we're pretty much to do freelance editing uh cinematography graphic design animation simple animation not 3d animation because hell no <laughs> how has yeah. that been so far it's been pretty good yeah you getting a lot of work or what oh yeah definitely really right now like i'm tutoring one guy on how to edit i'm filming a like a bunch of skits and like comedy stuff with another group of people i'm going to be filming more stuff with another group of people later on in the month it's been going pretty well Oh yeah, I'm I'm glad that that sounds pretty good. You must be pretty busy. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. How's how's your day to day life been going? Is it just like you have to schedule everything? 
Oh yeah, yeah. Like if I look at my schedule, everything is perfectly blocked off. There's barely any room. <laughs> Damn, like for me especially, like these past two weeks, it's been just like that where like I have to keep on doing something else. I feel that. And like uh, like I'm already I'm already so over it and there like there is light at the end of the tunnel. So I'll have some free time next week after okay. I finish my assignments. But nice. I mean the question I want to ask you now is I've known you for quite some time, Josh. And one thing I do know about you, yeah, weird to think about, but I have known you for quite some time. And the time I've known you for, you always have something to work on. It kind of always seems like you're busy. How do you like maintain that? Because like I, I, in the two weeks when I've been super super (laughs) busy, I hate it and I just want it to be over with. How do you maintain it and how do you keep going? I'm just a lot of scheduling, I guess. Keep everything nice planned. Make sure I plot out like a couple hours or maybe like a full day just for myself to play games or hang out with people. Do you ever the t- adventures all the time. One way to you, perfectly unwind. Even though it's only ever, for like an hour. Do you ever um like feel like you're gonna burn out? Oh yeah, I'm always burnt out, really. <laughs> like even now I'm exhausted. <laughs> I came back for like a 20 kilometer hike. I mean <laughs> And literally in like an hour, I'm going to be working on a, uh, like a project. Just, and then I have to be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow oh. in order to film a documentary. And then I have class and then a presentation and then games night. And oh, I my ran. God, buddy. <laughs> You're just all over the place. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. I mean, I respect the muscle. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, just from what I've, like, known from you, it's just, like, you're always working on so like like i always see on your snapchat i've already said this but i already see on your snapchat and your instagram like just doing something different it's like my thought process is like how is my man like still finding the motivation to do all this stuff like i hope you enjoy doing all of it oh yeah definitely yeah okay oh, yeah. well that's good at least i mean I do, <laughs> it's weird like wouldn't be doing me, it if i hated it <laughs> yeah i mean yeah fair enough but like sometimes for me anyways, like when I ever work on stuff for school, like I enjoy it. And when I'm in the moment, it's fun, but like having to plan and having to prepare for everything, oh, all the build up, awful. like the build up, I hate it so much. Once you're actually there and you're doing it, it's like, okay, this isn't too bad, but like, yeah. ugh, I got to do a project this weekend. And like the pre- the premise of it is like really cool. And I'm looking forward to what I'm actually there <laughs> and doing it. But just oh, scheduling everything. Oh my god! Like I want to shoot myself. Imagine. I want to <laughs> shoot myself in the face, buddy. Like it's a struggle. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, moving on. Um. So yeah. So talking about that, I know you film stuff all the time. But one oh, thing I wanted to com- one thing I wanted to comment on. Um. We've talked about the wild side of you, and we've talked about the filmmaking side of you. Oh, yeah. and I kind of want to combine that for my next question because I know you've done some interesting stuff to get some shots. And I remember Definitely. first year. I don't know if you remember this. But I remember first year when we went to that uh like abandoned building or that like that that remember that soccer field? Just to oh get yeah, a couple shots. Yeah, <laughs> I remember doing that. And at the time, I was like, "This is so fucking wild." Actually, um, I was literally there today at that like giant steel mill. Really? Like I climbed on top of a train that was there today. Oh my god! It was pretty oh. sick. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, moving forward from that, <laughs> I remember like the thought in my damn this dude's kind of wild. And you, it's it's interesting to see like what you're willing to do to get a good shot. Well, so, I'll do almost anything. I've ran across like bridges and highways for shots. <laughs> oh everything. my god! Was this was this like always something you were willing to do ever since you enjoyed doing filmmaking, or was this was this like definitely, yeah? definitely. Okay. Okay. So could you tell me what's the wildest thing you've had to do to get a good shot? Wildest thing I had to do to get a good shot. Oh God. Um, I mean, I guess there's a few like running across, like it wasn't the main well in like highway in order to get a like, shot for the hitman when I was doing that. Oh, uh, I remember that. Match. We had oh, to jump I'm off doing... the bridge. I had to jump off with him. That was pretty wild. Oh man. If we didn't Jesus. stop traffic, we just ran across. That's wow. Also done stuff like, oh, was it for like the well and zombie walk this like past month? I had to do a fun thing where I was acting and got shot in the head and fell like back head right into like the concrete. It hurt like hell, but it looked great. <laughs> oh my god! Do you have a concussion? <laughs> Probably not. 
I don't think. <laughs> wow. Fair enough. I'd be surprised um, I haven't had a concussion in my life. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I do want to talk about this. This is kind of like a head injury. And I've known okay. if you're comfortable talking about this, of course, if you don't, I can edit this oh, part well, out. Like but um, one thing I've always wanted to talk to you about um, in depth, really, is um, your migraines. Because like from the time I've known you, I know how much of a daily problem it's been. Oh, and they're I'm, hell, I'm, definitely. And I'm, I'm not sure like that, like this is public information that you go through oh, yeah, like, yeah. all the time. So could you t- like talk to me about it? Like how bad is it and how frequent is it? Well, when I was younger, before I, I guess, got a tolerance it, I'd like have nightly just like crying from the pain of it because uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like getting hit in the head by like a dodgeball like a hundred times, but it never oh goes God. away. It just gets worse every once in a while. Oh man! So like, do you have a migraine right now? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh damn, man! <laughs> I got a migraine. I got like throat aches. <laughs> I'm falling apart today. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Like, is this something that's like, is your head ever feel fine, or is it always? I think like the only times it's ever felt. <laughs> Jesus! The only times it's ever felt fine, is like when I'm at like a Gonquin Park camping because there's no electricity, there's no stress. It's nice and calm. <laughs> oh wow! Nature is your calling. It really is. Interesting. And see adventures again. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, like, has this ever been successfully treated? No. Surprise. Like, I went in for like an was it EEG, a CAT scan, the thing where they put like probes on your head to see what what was causing it. Heck, I even had my wisdom teeth ripped out a couple months ago because no, hopefully that you. caused it with still migraines. Still migraines. It's not gonna. It's not gotten any better. Not really. I guess I just built up more of a tolerance about it. How do you like, again, another motivation question. How do you find yourself? Like, how do you want to keep going if you're under that much pain that often? Probably just force myself to keep going. Wake up, throw in a smile and just keep on working at it. Because as long as you're busy, you don't focus on it. Wow. I guess that makes sense. That maybe they, maybe yeah. that explains why you're always so busy. <laughs> if I'm ever not busy, I sit there and my head's in pain and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah. Has it ever like, like, has there ever been like, okay, this might be a little deep. Like, has it ever, uh, has there ever been like a, a dark point? You're, cause assuming this is like very, very, very painful. Cause you, the oh, way you yeah, describe yeah. it, the way you describe it as if it's like very, very, very painful. However, like, has it ever like, like what's the word what's the word i'm looking for has this ever like triggered your mental health like did it ever affect it like severely oh i don't know if the migraines really i i guess a bit <laughs> like if i get really stressed and stuff it makes that even worse and cause like a panic attack in a way which is never fun <laughs> do you have panic attacks frequently oh yeah definitely yeah oh wow really i go to therapy for panic attacks oh wow <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm feel, an incredibly wound up person. <laughs> do you feel comfortable talking about this? Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. How frequently do you have panic attacks? Ah, oh, I mean, I guess it depends on the situation, but at least once a week. Oh, my God. Could you? Could you <laughs> because, like, I think I'm somebody who deals with anxiety quite a bit. And, like, I feel like I've experienced panic attacks in my life, not as frequent as once a week, right. but, like, I feel like I have in my life. Could you describe the feeling of what it's like? To, do you know what's going to happen? Or is it just like, is it just like a snap of the finger? Of, oh, fuck. You know what's going to, or at least for me, I know it's going to happen just a bit before, but by that point, it's already long gone. Oh, okay, like, hyperventilation, heartbeat rises to, like, oh, what was it? 160 beats per minute, which is not healthy. <laughs> Sometimes gets to the point where like arms and limbs go numb. Oh my get god! Tunnel vision. You just kind of want to crawl. Oh. How long does these like last? Does it feel, like, I'm guessing in the moment it feels like it's happening forever. But like, have you ever like kept track of how long they are? Ah, uh, sometimes it's like five minutes, but sometimes it can go as bad as like twelve hours. Oh my god! Oh yeah! Jesus! I mean, also hence adventures again. Go outside and adventure so you don't focus on it. This is what I'm saying, man. Like, I think your brain, you should donate your brain to science because like, <laughs> the amount of shit you told me, like, if this shit happened to me, I would have, I would have just fucking just jumped in front of a bus. 
Just call oh, it a it day. It takes a lot of mental strength, trust me. Yeah, like, how did you, like, tell me, man? Because, like, this is, like, I'm not even reaching out to you. as like, this is not even, like, an interview anymore. This is me reaching out to a friend. How do you have that much mental strength? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I have no idea. Somehow I still push through it. I don't know. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> I, I wish you had answers because there's just so much going around you and like it's just I, I just don't have answers go on an adventure to recharge the battery <laughs> I mean I guess maybe, maybe that's the answer wrong, you know? <laughs> I mean just shit I mean one thing like I also know about you is you have a very interesting diet and <laughs> for those of you who do not know this uh first year I remember this I could like literally this image is burned into my head like I could see this oh, like no. it's happening right now I remember when we were filming something. I don't remember what it was, but I was helping you film something. And then you said you were feeling hungry. And I remember just seeing you reach into your pocket and just down a packet of sugar. You're like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I was like, what? What is this man? Like my version <laughs> of nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> or like a coffee in the morning, you just pull a sugar packet. But yeah. sadly, that's important. It's like it, they no longer have the sugar packets out in the school anymore. So I can't just grab a handful of them. <laughs> oh, man, it's not a shame. <laughs> so now I have sugar apples, which is like a thousand times worse. Oh, take like an apple, cut it in little slices, cover it like two cups of sugar, and then take a bunch of syrup and pour it on that. Oh my god, Jesus! I had that this morning. Oh my god, I had like a sugar rush for like three hours. <laughs> oh, I mean, I guess that it worked to an extent. Then I mean, I don't think a sugar yeah. rush is necessarily a bad thing. But I think yeah, sugar damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing, like, I think one thing that I've analyzed about you and I'm being, this is kind of me being a concerned friend. I don't think your lifestyle is sustainable. Like, I, I don't think you, I don't think you could live on forever eating sugar packets and sugar apples. Being okay. Definitely not. You are. I mean, but, I eat other things. Like I eat stuff. I grew in the swamp. Uh, like I got onions going in the backyard, uh, leeks and stuff. I got a cabbage that's been in my fridge for like two months. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you something. Like say like, three years time and i'm gonna actually ask you in a bit what your goals are but for right now for this question right. saying like three years time you have like not like all the money in the world but let's say like you're doing like well for yourself let's say like i don't know for the sake of argument you're making six figures good money not I the rich, not the richest person <laughs> in the world but you're making good money like where do you see yourself in that situation if you're making that much money do you still think you'll be eating soggy moldy bread and okay i definitely won't be eating moldy bread or like expired <laughs> jam or having cereal with water you know at least have like milk and stuff now i still want to eat lobster every night or something yeah actually okay. depending on where i live i might but because <laughs> i'm like okay maybe i i, I was curious about that because i was like okay maybe if josh like really gets his shit together makes all that money makes the dough he deserves maybe he can actually like you know get his life together <laughs> <And hoard milk. laughs> yeah, so it's just like some of the shit you told them just like man i could not do that even if i was like even if i had no money it's like i don't care i'm <laughs> taking a loan like i need to have a like a decent stable life well you can't have soggy but wet bread because oh, you accidentally dude, spilled orange no, that's disgusting. <laughs> come on man <laughs> and sugar packets and expired shit it's like really just oh expired milk's the worst one because it, oh. it tastes like nuts. Oh. Sounds like just spooky. Oh, man. Oh, that's <laughs> I accidentally had that once in my life, and I regret it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be good. You know, it expired a month ago. It was pour it in, and it's, it was chunky. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's like oh. gray. <laughs> if I have gray milk, wouldn't recommend it. I have not had gray milk. That is disgusting. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, man. Wow. Well, that's... Uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's all the questions i have josh um, <laughs> um one thing i want to actually i do have one more question i apologize i ask this with every guest um what are your goals for the future like short-term goals long-term goals do you have any if so what are they not to end up in a gutter dead is one but <laughs> i don't know have my business i guess thrive a bit more if i can get to the point where i can just live off of just sitting editing in a random shack in the middle of the woods living a happy life that'd be kind of nice wow nice you yeah. think like is the goal to to kind of just make your business like your main source of income yeah 
Make okay. it my only okay. source of income. <laughs> oh, okay. Be your own boss. I respect that. Exactly. I respect. They can hire yeah. other people on. <laughs> cool. Cool. Oh, really? Awesome. Yeah. Wow. This was probably. So, wow. I, I I don't think I've ever actually done a podcast and I've just been speechless by the stuff you've told me. I mean, like guys, like for those of you who do not know Josh, I know Josh and like the stuff he's told me is like three times more just jaw dropping. So I mean, <laughs> uh, check him out. For those of you who are listening, definitely check him out. Um, yeah. So yeah, those are all the questions I have, dude. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Uh, hey, no one, problem. <laughs> one thing I kind of want to do before uh, we end things is if you want to promote anything, I want to give you this opportunity. So here, all go right. for it, man. The stage is yours. Well, let's see. I got an Instagram account. That's procrastination underscore enforcer, where I got a bunch of artwork and stuff I've done. People can contact me there if they want like editing work. I've also got some ads on Facebook for my... Uh, my business, Get a Life Studios, which has a fun little yellow uh, uh, potato that's crying. <laughs> and it's nice and rainbow colored. But <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, the voice crack. Holy God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm still dying from a throat infection. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, man. Uh, yeah, again, Josh, dude, thank you so much. I mean, I needed this too. Like, this was great. I knew you'd be the perfect guest to have back on in my long time away. So, dude, again, for the millionth time, thank you so much. No problem. It was fun. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was indeed. That so has dead. been another episode of Beyond the Naked Eye. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Brian Correa. Please and like I'm Josh subscribe. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You motherfucker. <laughs> no one has ever interrupted my outro before. Well, uh, <laughs> <for everything>. uh, <laughs> please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.